If you're feeling unseen, rejected, or confused because a guy you're really into is pulling away, losing steam and interest, or maybe playing con cold, today I'm gonna show you how you can reclaim your value so you can either inspire him to pursue you passionately or get lost so another great guy who sees your immense value can claim your heart. What I'm about to share with you today is something that can help you in two situations. One situation is a guy you've been connecting with who showed up strong at the beginning, who was really excited, who was having long conversations with you, took you on dates and his eyes lit up when he saw you, is starting to pull away. You notice that he's not as interested anymore. Maybe he's not asking you questions in between dates. Maybe he is not as into it even when he sees you. So you're getting somewhat confused and you're feeling how he's pulling away. The other situation, which is maybe even more painful, is the guy was never in it to begin with. If he's never in to begin with, but you still are holding your breath and not connecting with other men because you feel like this guy is your guy. You feel like this guy, once he gets to know you, he'll step up. Once he really goes through his work thing, he'll be able to focus on you then this can help you as well. The first step you need to do if you want to stop taking crumbs from guys is you need to stop telling yourself false story. And the story might go something like this. He checks all my boxes. Or when we connect, I feel something so special, so different from other guys. Or maybe he's so intelligent, so smart, so special, so different. Or maybe if I were to stop seeing him, I feel a huge void in my life. And to put myself out there again, where all these guys are not as quality as he is, I, it's just a waste of time. And I'd rather hold on to what I have than to maybe spend two, three years hoping to connect with someone and no one shows up. If you noticed all the subconscious stories that someone perhaps in your situation might be telling yourself are things that are based on a state of lack. There's a lack of abundance in that mentality. And I understand from your perspective, if it might seem true. I'm here to share with you the main reason why this dude is acting this way with you is because you allow it. Now, I'm not saying you have to tell him that he's doing it wrong. What I'm saying is that if you have a higher standard, he'll either step up to the plate and live up to the expectations, or he'll step down and pave the way for you to connect with someone who is fully into you. Step number two, I need to start doubling down on two things. Number one is the things that add meaning to your life. Notice I didn't say pleasure to your life. Sometimes pleasure is great. Sometimes pleasure and meaning are not the same thing. So exercising in the mornings is not necessarily pleasurable sometimes, but it's meaningful because it creates a different biochemistry in your system that allows you to have a different kind of day. Volunteering and doing work that adds value to other people's lives. Sometimes it's when you feel tight on time, doesn't necessarily feel pleasurable, but once you do it and you notice a change in the lives of the people you're helping, then you feel inspired and that inspiration that's meaning to your life. There are people in your life that you're not connecting with right now because you're giving so much space to this dude. If you were to connect with them more, then you would find more meaning in your life as well. Second thing I need you to double down on is finding more worth and beauty in you. And it's something as simple as we choose one part of your self, whether it's your legs, your, your facial expression, maybe it's your character, maybe it's something that you're really good at and you're going to focus on that that day. You're going to take one quality, one trait, physical or emotional, I don't care. You can mix and match and you're going to start focusing and on seeing yourself with a kindness and compassion as someone who is a great friend of yours would actually see in you. Sometimes we become our own worst critics. And the moment you start putting people up in a pedestal and start forgetting of the greatness and the value that you have inside right now, then you start allowing behaviors in your life that are less than optimal for you. Third step is I need you to share with said man your inspired vision. And your inspired vision is not a complaint. Your inspired vision is not you're doing it wrong. Your inspired vision is here's what I'm going for. Join me in my quest or move away so I can get what I need. Right? So let's say John is being wishy-washy about you, even though he wasn't originally. It's a conversation as simple as, hey, John, there's a few times we've connected that I feel so seen by you. I feel your heart. I feel your energy. I feel your enthusiasm. There's a chemistry between us that I can't deny. And that's the reason why I'm here. 
lately, I've noticed that fill in the blank, that we don't seem to want to connect as much. But when we do connect, you're not fully into things. It feels like something's off. It feels like maybe I said something or did something that bothered you. I'm just getting a sense that's very different from what I first experienced from you that got me really hooked into connecting with you. So here's the thing. At this stage in my life, I'm looking forward to connecting with a guy who really wants to take things forward, who is a leader in his own right, who wants to pursue in the healthiest of ways, not chase, who wants to ask me on dates, who wants to get to know me, who's really enthusiastic about seeing me and gets lit up inside when we connect. And if for whatever reason, that person for you is not me, I want you to find what you're looking for. What I can no longer do is have an experience for myself that is indifferent or that is less than clear because I think that life is too short to not experience greatness in communication and in feeling with someone. So if you feel compelled to continue connecting with me the way we're connecting, I'm all in for, con for figuring out how far we can go. If for whatever reason, you don't feel that way about me, I care too much about you and you deserve to feel excited. You deserve to feel pursuant of the woman that you're with. You can even share, hey, if there's anything I've done that's bothered you, if there's anything that you feel different in me that is causing you to do this, please share it with me because I really enjoy connecting with you. Here's what this will do. This will give the guy a clear vision for you're not doing it wrong, but here's what I'm looking for from someone. Here's what I'm looking for from a man. If that's you, step up to the plate, my dear. Let's hold hands and go the distance. If that's not you, here's what's happening internally. You are willing to walk away. You are willing to say, I'm going to forego this greatness I see in you for the whole package, which is someone who's interested in pursuing me, someone who's interested in connecting with, someone who's not unclear about his intentions with me. That's what you're saying behind the words that you're saying. And he will allow two things. He'll either step up or he'll step down. Now, before I share my last step, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet that you don't understand the true reason, meaning the root cause of why you're still single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women of all different challenges find inspired love, find lasting love, and put it together in a simple quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. And if you want to get your answer, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description of this video. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and in 60 seconds or so, you'll have two things. Answer to the question why you're still single and a report that's going to share with you based on your specific and unique blind spot, what's the number one action you can take today to reverse this trend and attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Now, the last step is you need to create more options. If this guy is not an exclusive relationship with you, you need to put yourself out there, not from the version of you that says all is lost and all great guys are taken and uh, guys only want sex, but from the version of you that knows that one act of inspiration, one difference in your stance, one difference in your worth can create a different connection with someone. All it takes is one eye-to-eye -eye connection that turns into a date that turns into multiple dates, that turns into a marriage. So the very next morning, you could walk into Starbucks and connect with a guy you end up marrying, or you go to the meetup, or you go to a association meeting, and because you're more open, and because you're more relaxed, and because you find more value in yourself, he sees more value in you. Hope you find this helpful and useful, and if you do, it would mean the world to me and to my channel if you click like and subscribe, and if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or stupid techniques, then make sure to watch the next video right here.